everyone. My name is Trey, and I'm with Student of the Leaf. We're actually in a different location. I have a good special treat for you all. But before I get into any of that, let me do the normal thing that I do. But this one's a little bit different as well, too. Because this hat right here, uh, but you know what? I'm not going to talk about the hat so much because you can get all the information in the link below. Let me go ahead and bring on my special guest. Thank you. Huh. How are you? Doing pretty good, and yourself? Good. I'm doing fantastic. So with us today, we have the legend, the unicorn, Mr. Micah Johnson. Wow, that's quite a quite a uh, introduction. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure I deserve that, but thank you. Oh, well, no, you deserve everything. Um, you are the godfather of cigars in this region of this area. Um, I know that you are plugged in when it comes to the cigar community itself. Um, so we're going to get into all of that, if you don't mind, Chair. Absolutely. Absolutely. But first, it looks like you already got your cigar lit. Yes, and I like big cigars. Do you? Big cigars are my new thing. <laughs> Years ago, when we had a movie star walk into the store when he became governor of California. Okay. He started buying cigars from us and I would go drop off his cigars and I could never give them to him directly. Okay. It was always to his right hand man. Okay. But when I would give them to him, he would look at me right square in the face and say, I think you better make sure those are big cigars. <laughs> so now, now I smoke big cigars. Now you say he was a actor, right? Yes. Now we're talking about Nixon? No, we're talking about Schwarzenegger. <laughs> ah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> nice. So um, today we're actually smoking on the Bloodline. OPA. 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 That stands for Oliva Perez and Agonorsi. Okay, and they are the uh, families down in uh, the Nicaragua yep. region. Those are, those are all basically original family farmers that originated their bloodlines originated in Cuba. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Cuban seeds, yes. if you will. Yes. Yep. Nice. They were in their pockets, in their belt buckles, in their <laughs> socks, and they brought them out of there. Oh, wow. Right. Back in the day. You're smoking a seven and a half by 54 ring gauge cigar. Okay. I'd say that's my favorite size. That 54 ring gauge is elusive. You don't see it very often. Now, was this Arnold's favorite yeah, as well, a, too? He's a big, uh, yeah, he's a big, you know, his. One of his favorite cigars is the Cuban Double Double Corona made by Hoya, and that's that same shape. Mm. Not a 60, but a 54. 60 is the new popular fat ring size cigar, but the 54 just feels the right shape for me. Yeah, and you know what? And that's what it comes down to is how that cigar feels to you. Yeah, it you does. Know? Um, because you know you're, you got your senses, so you have smell, taste, touch. Yep, um, absolutely, it, it all goes into it. So for me as well, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I like the shape. It fits. It's almost like a marker, if you will. Yep, it's a pointer. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a pointer. Mm -hmm. When you need to point something out, you got something to point with. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, would you like to go into the uh, wrapper, binder, filler of the cigar? So the so the original blend of this cigar was Habano. Mm. The Habano uh, was the very first one. We have we have three total, but the, the original blend was Habano, and it was made. Uh, there was probably over thirty blends before we actually got it down to the right exact blend. Because what I realized was by making a cigar that had this much Lajero in it, it's 75% Lajero. Lajero is the tobacco that comes from the top of the plant. It has the most sunshine, the most strength, the most soil okay. concentrated into the leaf. And so that equates to flavor in the end. That equates to aroma in the end. But a lot of people don't like what the palate has to fight through to get to that flavor. Okay. The spice, the bitterness. How do you get through that? Okay. In order to get to that wonderful flavor. Okay. So he came up with an idea, the, the, the blender that helped me uh, go through this process explained to me that if it was fermented over and over, we could get through some of that and, and get rid of some of that black pepper and some of that spice. <clears throat> so we would push the limits as far as we could 
But when I tasted it in Esteli, Nicaragua, mm. it would taste great. We'd get there. Okay. And then when they were shipped to the United States, you would taste the cigar and it just had too much pepper. It just had too much spice. It just had too much of that overwhelming mm. uh, offensive taste. Mm. And not enough of that gold and that aroma, that thing that we all chase for perfection in a cigar that we like. And I typically call those pepper bombs. Yes, my mm -hmm. pepper bombs. Yeah. I, I and we haven't really went over this in uh, uh, Student of the Leaf yet, uh, but we're going to go over uh, the different flavors that are out there that you can pick up on. But I'm um, sorry to cut you off. On oh, you know, I I was fortunate enough to run into a chef in New Mexico, uh, where the ski resort is in Taos. What's that? I guess Taos is the name of the city. Okay. So he explained to me that pepper is translated in the palate differently at different elevations. Okay. So in New Mexico, they use these green and these red chili peppers that are extraordinarily spicy. Mm. But in New Mexico, they don't impart that spiciness because the elevation is so high there. Okay. But if you bring them back to Fresno yeah. in the desert, <laughs> where it's 600 elevation, uh, all of a sudden, the spice hurts. Mm. And once I found that out, he, he actually told me, listen, I don't see why that wouldn't translate to cigars and to tobacco, because it's your palate that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not the medium, it's the power, palate. it's the receiver, right? Yeah. So once I realized that, that's when we started to temper that blend mm -hmm. to where when it was shipped, and smoked to somewhere less than 6,000 feet in elevation. Yeah. You could actually taste now what you were after to taste yeah. instead of having it covered up with the pepper bomb. Yeah. Huh. So, um, how many years or how long did it actually take you to perfect this blend, essentially? I mean, I would say we were after it for a good, a good two years and we didn't perfect it until the third year. This has been, I would say, eight, nine years ago now. Okay. And we're in a few, we're in a, maybe a hundred stores nationwide with the cigar currently. It's not something we try to get out there and, and, and make a living doing. I mean, this yeah. is something I did because after 30 years of being a store owner, I wanted to know what went into the inside makings of a cigar so that I had more knowledge to convey to the customer. Makes sense, yeah. makes sense. And I know that you've done your uh, trips down to Nicaragua yep. um, as well too. Unfortunately, you weren't able to do it last year because of COVID, um, the vid. But um, is that something that you plan on uh, no, offering? We will absolutely pick up again, of course. Oh, nice. no, as, soon as, uh, as soon as we can, we will. Yes, yes. So um, I, th I think it is very important, like you said, to immerse yourself and learn um, as much as you can about cigars and the only way to really do that is to unfortunately go to the factories sure. or, or go to a shop that actually rolls their own cigars they bring in their stuff um yeah so that's pretty cool that you no, actually absolutely. have taking trips yep. down there. that's not unfortunate at all that's no. a lot of fun yes right <laughs> oh man so this isn't something you're trying to make your living off of doing which is you know just rolling out the cigars and putting them all over the world and such like that um, but you do carry these in your shop, yes. correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're for sale. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now well, is, their money makes clear. Yes. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You still got to make a living. Right? So, so, so if you're here in Fresno, oh, you know what? I don't think we actually said where we're at today. That's right. I don't think we have. No. I so we have. we're in Fresno, California. Cigars Limited. Uh, been around. We're going on thirty years now. Thirty years. Yeah, thirty wow. years. Yeah, long time. Wow. You don't look a day over twenty nine. That's all I have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Popped so, out smoking a cigar, man. <laughs> Did somebody uh, cut it for you or Absolutely. light it? Yeah, ready to go. Oh, right. Ready to go. <laughs> and so, uh, is this the only location here in Fresno that you have? We have one in Clovis, too, which is probably 20 miles away. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have a sister store out in Clovis, and it's been there, I'd say, half the time at least. Yeah. Okay. Now, is this the original spot yes. for you? Yeah. Okay. And are you the original owner of the shop? Yep, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, had some help with my dad. We did. We probably opened it together. I would say. Okay. But uh, yeah, original owner. All right. So it was a father uh, son deal, working hand in hand with each other. Yep. Um, that is beautiful. I mean, we got into it because we weren't allowed to smoke indoors, right? Like a lot of people aren't. Yes. So we sit, we sat out in the back and thought, what if? No. What if? 
<laughs> All right. So when uh, you first started out about 30 years ago, um, did you have the inventory that you have currently right now? No, of course not. No, no. We've we've, we've slowly built the inventory over the years, and, and it's been something that's uh, that uh, you know what what do you do to get better? What do you do to try to polish a store? What do you do to try to make it nicer? Mm. Bigger inventory is one of those things. Okay. You know, we've, we've gradually uh, made the store bigger, put nicer furniture in there, nicer accoutrements, and, and, uh, and, and a larger inventory is part of that process. Hmm. And was it hard to really crack into the business? Like, Oh yeah, no it is, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you were to open up a store today, you know, there's certain accounts like Arturo Fuente or Padron that won't even open up an account until you proven yourself for a few years prior. Mm -hmm. They won't even give you the account to start with. So that's, uh, that was the case when I opened up and that's the case now. Okay. And I know that you have some of the other bigger name brands as well too. I mean, oh, yeah. Fuente is a really big brand, uh, but you have the Davidoffs. Oh, yes. um, yep. Yep. You have uh, the Byrons yep. as well. Um, 30 years, that is a long time. Have you seen any like cigar booms or flatlining? Uh, over the the years, over the time, the decades, or anything, I would say you know. I mean, when when laws change, you you have dips, and then they you know valleys and dips, like with any business, right? You're going to have trials and tribulations, and and uh, but that's that's my business, and I try not to convey it to the consumer. Right? I, they yeah. come, people come here to have a good time. Correct. They have problems in their industries. Mm -hmm. You have problems in your industries, and you don't come here. Because you want to hear my problems, yeah. right? So we try to just talk about the good times, okay, and try to, to um, reference the fun, yes, and uh, make it fun for you to come in because this isn't in the end. This isn't my store; it's mm -hmm. your store. Yes, that's our that's our motto. So in uh, previous episodes and such, we've talked about what makes this cigar culture so good is the people. Yes, the people. One hundred percent. The people, the people, and how we come together, and we all come together around the stick. Whether you're you're a professor, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, you never know who you're sitting next right. to. Yes. A movie star, yes. a governor. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, well, you probably should know if they're a movie star. Probably know that part. Yeah. 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 Well, there are some that you probably didn't know. Yeah, of course, of course. So you have two locations. So you started out this one. Uh, this location about 30 years ago and then how soon after did you start the other location about 15 years you know we decided to uh, kind of have a satellite pickup location that had a small outdoor lounge and uh, six or seven seats inside as well so we just kind of decided to go out that direction because it's a leap across town right mm -hmm. and there wasn't much uh, there wasn't much access to good tobacco good cigars, good pipe tobaccos, those kind of things uh, out in that region. So we decided to open up in that region. Oh, wow. Nice. Yep. You saw an opportunity and you took it. Let's do it. Location. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Location. Let's have some fun. <laughs> it's all about having fun. So, I mean, would, would you say that you started off this venture, first of all, a place to smoke, but also to have fun as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, uh, I think uh, doing what you like, mm -hmm makes you good at what you do okay I mean, that's uh it's not hard any longer you yeah. know you don't struggle okay if you're doing if you're eating what you like it's easy to finish your plate mm -hmm. you know, simple as that so doing what you like have you um went to any of like the big trade shows do you enjoy doing that yeah. well, like absolutely Me meeting uh meeting all the big rock stars you know uh -huh. getting them to come out to the events here in the shop has been Fantastic! It's been part of the success. It's been part of the fun, thrill, okay. um, getting people like Rocky Patel to come out. Oh wow! George Patron, try to get uh, George Rico to come out from Granabano. You know, getting getting uh, the owners of Lafleur, the owners of these big brand names to come sit down around a table, have dinner. It's fantastic. It really is. It's uh, it's appreciated, I think, by all. Mm -hmm. Especially me, I love watching other people have fun. Right? It's like having your kids go through something you went through. Yes. And uh, watch the excitement on their face. So, so you actually have events events here at the shop as well, too. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. And do you do that on like a, a monthly or? Yes, we uh, monthly monthly events, and we all also have a cigar of the month event as well, uh, where we 
have a monthly release party, don't okay. have something going on. We're always giving something away. Yeah. We're always um, trying something new. You know? And a lot of times we let the membership pick out the new cigars that are going to be part of the store. Oh, wow. Okay. That's Taking a look through your store, through the lounge itself, I can definitely say some of these chairs look mighty comfortable. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> They got, the, they got the right groove in them. Yes, yes. yes. So hopefully, um, would you be willing to actually give us a tour of the actual sure, absolutely. store? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So, um, hey, we got another treat for you. We're going to get an actual tour of Cigars Limited up here in Fresno, California. Let's From do it. the owner. Let's go check it out. <laughs> yes. What's happening, TA? You're open. We're open. What's going on, man? Absolutely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cigars Limited, man. We are open. We're here for you. Cigars Limited, Tin Garden Village in Fresno, California. Come on, welcome. Check it out. Right. Come on in. I'm going to show you the reunion of the The cigar oh, store itself over here on the left. We got some pipes. Uh, we got some guys yeah. playing some local backgammon right here. We do some little local backgammon tournaments. Hey, fellas. We're having a good fun time with that. We got pipes in the back, pipe tobaccos, all kinds of fun toys. Over here, we're looking at humidors and ashtrays. We try to keep up on all the accessories and make them available. People that enjoy fine cigars need places to put them. They need tools to cut them, and they need lighters to light them. So we got all the accessories left and right of us. We got a full collection of affordable lighters, affordable cutters. And then, of course, for those people that want to spend some money on the good stuff, we got products that are a little bit higher end that are inclusive of cutting and lighting all in one tool. Uh, Calibri products, Lotus products, uh, all the fun things. I mean, we got the Halloween and we got the November coming up and Christmas coming up. So we like to make a lot of options available for not only people that smoke cigars, but people that want to buy gifts for cigar smokers. So come on into the lounge, pick up a walking stick. Yep, we sell walking sticks too. You know, we take care of everybody. We don't care. Come on in. This is one of the biggest biggest cigar humidors in the whole Central Valley, maybe the whole state of California. We got uh, every brand in here from Rocky Patel, my father, we keep everything there on the left, we call that the uh, farmer's market of cigars there on the left, just to keep it more fun. This is a little bit more of a area of boutique cigar makers over here, and then we put the main brands up on the wall. Infused Cigars, the Fuente Family, Foundation, Dapper Cigars are uh, a love of the locals because we have a cigar maker here in Fresno, California. I understand he's been on your show also, Ian Reith. Not yet, fantastic. but he will be he's soon. Coming. He's coming. Good, good. Get a hold of him. He's a fantastic person and he's got a really good palate. We also have all the cigars uh, available for... Cigar smokers that don't want to spend a whole lot of money. I mean, we have a bundle section, we have a value added section uh, of long filler tobaccos uh, that are made by the big companies that are just not marketed with bands and boxes. So we make sure we take care of everybody so we can sell cigars from everywhere from two bucks all the way up to 50 bucks. Of course, the Bloodline cigars is our favorite around here, at least mine, anyways. Um, so we got Bloodline Cigars, Drew Estate Cigars, and then the back wall here we have Rocky Patel. He's one of our favorite cigar makers in the area. I've known Mr. Rocky since he started. I think he showed up here with a bag full of humidors in the trunk of his car one time, and that's how we met. And uh, he's a great man as well. And then we also take care of all the people that just want to smoke cigars while they're mowing the lawn. This is our bundle section. I mean, we got cigars from two dollars and ninety cents on up right here and then we spend a lot of time a lot of uh, traveling looking for cigars that smoke well at a reasonable price point so that's very important to us because we know not everyone's got 10 20 bucks to spend on a single cigar we also got a uh, a full locker program here where you can join up as part of our membership program uh, lockers are available in small medium and large with three different price points and uh, make sure and treat our members a little bit special. Not a whole lot more special than everybody, but a little bit more special. So I noticed that you left out one little section. What did we forget? Right here in the center. 
Oh, the center section. So what's new? Everybody wants to know what's new. So we got a what's new table. Always on the table for a good 20 days before they go to the rest of the humidor, we put what's new on the table so you can kind of see the first debut of something that's just come out. We've got a couple brand new Rocky Patels on the table. We're a member of a group called the Tobacco Association of America, TAA, 50 top stores in the nation. We're fortunate enough to be a member of them. So we get TAA exclusives always on the table. Uh, special editions as well, like the Tatawahe Monsters. We're rolling into Halloween, so we got the skinny monsters available. Uh, whatever's new first is always available here on the table. Always, always. Come on in the lounge. Let's go check it out. Go sit. Let's go sit in the chair and see how comfy it is. Of course, we got Davidoff as well, you know, because we're not going to not want to say some of the best cigars in the world either, right? If you want a good gift, if you want a fancy gift, if you do want to spend $30, $50 a cigar, we got that too. And that's usually all along here with the Padron and the Davidoff. At the Bays and Byrons are my two most favorite uh, exponential, fantastic, over-the-top quality brands. So again, we strive to find the funnest. And then of course there's a lounge, right? Comfy chairs, enjoying, sitting down. Ah. Gotta have a good spot to sit and light your cigar. Good conversation. We like to sit in these chairs and talk about whatever you want to talk about. We try to leave the news out of it. We try to put some uh, sports on the television. And uh, maybe a little classic Cuban music. That's what we like to listen to around here. But it's fun, it's exciting. I always meet new people. Doesn't matter who you are. Come by, sit down. Don't ever feel intimidated. We love everybody. And then we got the lounge outside. Come on, check this out. Oh, we've got a place for outside too, because a lot of people like to enjoy the outdoors. We've got a nice zippy spot out here with a few tables. Sometimes this is where we put up a barbecue and have some hamburgers, hot dogs, throw some pizzas every once in a while. So this is our outdoor lounge. So we have a lot of fun. All right. So first of all, I wanted to thank you very much for giving us an inside look and a tour of your uh, absolutely, lounge, man, your store. Yeah, thanks for being interested. Oh, highly, highly interested. I, honestly, I, I will tell you that this shop has shown me nothing but love. And when I say the shop, I don't mean the physical shop. I'm talking about the people. Yes. Yeah, the people. All, business, yeah. all, all your staff, um, top notch customer service. Um, I've never had a bad time whenever I've come here to Cigar Zone. Good, that's good to hear. So, um, I want everyone out there, if you're going to watch this episode, share it with your friends. If you're going to be in the Fresno area or the Clovis area, definitely visit Cigars Limited. But in the meantime, keep enjoying your cigars, keep learning, and remember, we're all students. Absolutely. Students of the leaf. Yes. You're a student. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Oh, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Take care, all. Good. Good, good.